Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff. In this video, we will take a look at the evolution of offshore oil and gas development. So let's begin. Offshore oil and gas development has undergone a remarkable transformation over the past five decades as the industry has ventured into deeper and more complex waters in search of hydrocarbon resources. In this video, we will review some of the major achievements and innovations that have enabled offshore development to reach new frontiers, as well as some of the challenges and risks that the industry has faced and overcome. Offshore development began in shallow waters with simple structures such as jack-up rigs, which are self-elevating platforms that rest on the seafloor and can be moved from one location to another. Jack-up rigs have been used since the late 1940s and are still widely used today for drilling and production operations in water depths up to 400 feet. However, as the industry explored deeper waters, jack-up rigs became inadequate and new technologies were needed. One of the first breakthroughs was the development of dynamic positioning systems, which allow vessels to maintain their position and orientation without being anchored or moored to the seafloor. Dynamic positioning systems use thrusters, propellers, rudders, and other devices that are controlled by computers and sensors, such as GPS and gyro compasses. Dynamic positioning systems were first used by the CUS-1 drillship during Project Mohol in 1961, a scientific experiment to drill through the Earth's crust. Although the project was unsuccessful, it demonstrated the feasibility of drilling in deep water without being tethered to the bottom. Dynamic positioning systems paved the way for the creation of semi-submersibles, drill ships, floating production storage and offloading FPSO, vessels and other floating platforms that can operate in deep and ultra-deep water. Another key innovation was the development of tension leg platforms, TLPs, which are floating platforms that are vertically moored to the seafloor by tendons, which are steel pipes or cables that provide tension and stability. TLPs were developed in the 1970s and 1980s and are suitable for water depths between 1,000 feet and 5,000 feet. TLPs have the advantage of having production wellheads on deck that connect directly to the subsea wells via risers instead of on the seafloor. This allows for simpler well completion, better reservoir control, and easier well intervention. TLPs also have low heave, pitch, and roll motions, which reduce the fatigue and stress on the risers and tendons. A similar concept to TLPs is the spar platform, which is a vertical cylinder that is stabilized by ballast at the base and has a small water plane area. Spar platforms can also bring production risers to the surface and use dry trees, similar to TLPs and fixed platforms. The first production spar platform, the Neptune Spar, was installed in the Gulf of Mexico in 1996 by Oryx Energy and Deep Oil Technology. Spar platforms can operate in water depths up to 10,000 feet. Offshore development and installation technology has also faced many challenges and risks, such as extreme weather, harsh environments, human errors, and accidents. Some of the major offshore disasters include the Alexander L. Keeland rig capsizing in 1980, the Piper Alpha platform explosion in 1988, and the Deepwater Horizon blowout in 2010. These tragedies have prompted the industry to improve its safety standards, inspection and maintenance protocols, and emergency response measures. Offshore development has come a long way since its humble beginnings in shallow waters with jack-up rigs. Over the past 50 years, the industry has pushed the boundaries of technology and innovation to explore and produce hydrocarbons in ever deeper and more challenging environments. The future of offshore development will likely see more integration of digital technologies, such as artificial intelligence, robotics, automation, and data analytics, to enhance efficiency, reliability, and sustainability. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more oilfield-related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about the oil and gas industry? Leave them in the comments section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.